Uh, oh, if I need a mechanic for my car today, how many of you have a recommendation for me? We have three. So, or four, sorry. But what about the rest of you? Screw. Yo. So, okay, so we got one suggestion. Yo. Or an Angie's list. Or Angie's list. Yeah, pretty bad. So, I looked at Yelp, and I guess restaurants and restaurant reviews are good, but I just, for the sake of trying, I tried out um, like all buy shops, computer shops, but there's only like one review, two review, and they're probably like employees of the businesses. So, like, what ideas do you have about um, improving the way consumers can give feedback about the professional services that they're getting? So one idea that I came up with was for businesses, you know, at the end of like, let's say the mechanic did a great job for me. And I said, uh, Joe the mechanic, I love you, man. I, I just, you know, I want to like tell all my friends about how awesome you are. And then Joe the mechanic says, well, that's cool. That's the story today. But what if, what if he's able to say, well, Alfred, I'm glad you love our service. If you really love our service, can you please go on this website and give me some public feedback about my service and then other people can see your positive feedback and when they see the review, they'll come and, you know, come to my shop. So that's one, that's one idea I had to improving the, you know, like, even Yelp could be doing this today, you know, like they can call all the businesses, you know, like, um, you know, if you think you did a good job, then you can tell your customer to go to your Yelp page to give you a positive feedback. So that's one way that. So how are how are the how are your experiences in terms of like finding like feedback? On it's like TripAdvisor, but for service. Right? Yeah, yeah. Because every time that I want to travel to some I look at the feature, the hotel, and I go to the advisor to see if it's a good brand. Yeah, so like a trip advisor for But for service, yeah. for yeah. service. And then it's the upside, the other way, because it says that the John from the mechanic is going to ask you to do the opposite. You go to the website, yeah. you look for reference, mm -hmm. and you put a login and everything. After you've done the service, the like, trip advisor asks you to rank your service, how was everything, yeah. instead of making them ask you to do Complicated? A couple of comments on that. Yeah, so you talked about a problem of discovery of services. Yeah. But what you were describing was, you know, basically after the service is done, what was the next step, which is feedback. And I think there's a disconnect between those two. Mm -hmm. this because I think the original problem of discovery yeah. is a better problem to solve. Because once you solve that, you solve the problem of feedback. Yeah. So I think you know you should focus on finding those services. And then today, obviously, you can do crowdsourcing you know, a lot of you know, social technologies, a lot of mashups. Because you talked about the feedback. You know, the mechanic can actually just go to Yelp or Jairo Q to Yelp. That or, I guess you know, that's that's to some degree. Yeah, but I yeah. think you know that's a that's a better problem to solve. Yeah. Angie's list does a fantastic job of yeah. that. Um, Craigslist is there. The, the, you know, the, the biggest advantage of Craigslist is, a, is the cost price, is the zero price of entry, yeah. and I think that's why you know the problem is actually solved to a certain degree because there are people advertising that people discover. Uh, but I think there's the feedback mechanism. <laughs> You can actually do that with a social network, which is your personal trusted social network, yeah. or an extended one that can add to the feedback that you have something. Mm -hmm. Awesome, that's another problem. Yeah. I mean, that, that's, that's a good problem. Well, so my idea would be to have in a service at bell.me, where everyone gets their own personal page. Yeah. So you can have something like that. Since you're talking about professional services, yeah. you'll be uh, reviewing me for professional services. Yeah, you'll be reviewing the person itself, not the company. So everyone can have their own personal page with comments to provide the feedback. And then you just need to provide a way to search for those personal pages to provide you know, a mechanic or a live coach. Yeah. And that way when you, when the mechanic tells you to go to about.me slash my name, that's a simple URL that you can give out to the 
their views. Uh, a couple of things, uh, comments as well, uh, in terms of something like this, like carving out some sort of actual customer niche and keeping in mind that a customer is somebody that would actually end up saving money, but it's something that's kind of difficult. Because I think that like, users might be one thing, but then identifying what the actual customer would be would be another thing uh, entirely. But the other thing for consideration as well, have you heard of a platform called Ashable? Or has anybody heard of yes. that? Yeah. So Hashable is really interesting because it really takes advantage of something that Twitter already does in terms of using uh, hashtags. I don't know how many of are with Twitter. But it kind of like takes advantage of that whole system and basically um, integrates all the users' uses of hashtags in a way. Like if you have a meeting with somebody, you could say, you know, pound sign meeting, and then the user, they have a meeting with and reports it within the Hashable system. And the same token, um, you know, that's the kind of thing, just as an example, you might be able to leverage, you know, great job or something like that as a hashtag and then um, direct attention or, or, or a particular view. So um, I'd probably like, if, if this was something you were to move forward on, I'd consider taking a look at what technologies are currently available and seeing how you might be able to build a uh, bit on top of or integrate the data that they already have to do. Okay, uh, two comments. Yeah. One of them is about uh, trust. Mm -hmm. The value of the recommendation is directly proportional to the trust that you have in the data that's there. Yeah. And a lot of the services that are out there, whether it's TripAdvisor or uh, the quality of the data is quite poor. In fact, many of them pay people to post stuff on their site. So it looks like they've got a lot of comments. Yeah. And a lot of the comments are manufactured reworded versions of previous comments, so it's just a great big echo chamber of value the data and visual. If you can solve that, uh, and I think you can with social media, if you can say, these are the comments by people you know, you'll trust those more than the comments of people who you don't know. People who are comments by people who know people who you know, uh, et cetera, you can increase the point of the Second comment I have has to do with revenue. Unless you have a revenue model that will make them succeed, people are not going to pay for the ability to see the recommendation. And uh, advertising may not be enough to sustain it. And so you will need something besides that. Uh, one thing I thought about was uh, maybe the um, businesses that are uh, in this database or this uh, recommendation that you make them pay for. Professionalist, and if they pay for professionalist budget, yeah. yeah, that's that's one monetization that I thought. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there's one, there's another angle I think that you might want to look at is, um, I think a reason why a lot of these services haven't had mechanics or whatever come on is that those guys already have a lot of clients. And like I, my girlfriend's dad is a plumber, yeah. and I know um, family friends are mechanics. And then another problem is that like. As a customer, I want to make sure I get into the mechanic at the right time, I can get it done quickly, and I can pick it up at the right time. So it's a scheduling problem. I think there's a different angle at it. If you, like, you've got a plumbing problem, if you've got a mechanics problem, whatever, if you can like say, okay, I want to I fix it's this. Timely done is more important than Yeah, and like the specific problem, like my car's gas is broken or whatever, I can go on this website and say, okay, this is what I need done, and then somehow the website's going to tell me how long it's going to take, and then it's going to find a place that's uh, trustworthy, and help me schedule that so that it works with my schedule. I think that's a pretty good tool. It solves a problem for everybody and it helps with the discovery process as well. What, one other thing, I, I, when you talk about trust, right? Like, there has been a mechanism where you have to tie back to the transaction. Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, I, I, you go to Yelp, you go to uh, you know, any other review sites, right? Yeah. And you look at it, but if there's no transaction, Associated with that comment, mm -hmm. you tend to trust it less, right? Yeah. So I mean, if, if you went to the mechanic, you say, well, you, you know, you're a great mechanic, and then somehow you tie that into your transaction, right? and you say, you know, you're really good feedback. Mm -hmm. You say, you know, I have uh, my car service on this day and time, yeah. and I gave this week review. You know, kind of the eBay, eBay type of thing. Mm -hmm. and, that, and I think that type of service would be, I, I would trust it more. Like an eBay feedback-ish Kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah. eBay, you can't give a feedback until you, you actually pay me a transaction. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you.